Hey folks, Father Sampati from CGYS here. Today we're going to see how to work with our uh, new tool, the Geometry Node tool uh, that is called Tension Map Generator. And uh, how can we use it with uh, a character animation pipeline? All right. So we have updated this tool a little bit. Uh, now the math is better. So we're going to demo it here. And we're going to also see how to work with uh, character animation with this tension map to create some procedural wrinkle so let's see and let's get it started all right so we can download the note from here the link will be in the des description so go here and uh, just download this tension map okay download it so let's go there so here is our character all right um let's double overlay on so we're going to use this character and uh, now let's see some basic things first okay so if i go here and uh, if i go to the material section this is the body this is the head okay so let's see the head okay so the head has a uh, basic pvr you know head ao with diffuse with multiply uh, this is the basic roughness and this is the normal map here we are going to use our wrinkle map okay so the wrinkle map has uh you know uh these are also basic okay uh, this is a micro detail if we go closer you can see a micro detail is there okay and uh, other things and uh, here is our wrinkle map so how does it look like let's see so this is a total wrinkle map generation this is a total wrinkle setup you know so if we see it in a shader view what it will look like is basically this i'm just plugging it here okay so this is the wrinkle map we have okay i have uh, done some bit extreme wrinkling here so we can see it later okay so now um all right so let's get started and uh, we will generate this wrinkle procedurally so how can we do it well um let's go first thing first is basically we're going to duplicate this guy okay so shift d okay we don't ne need the pants so here we go all right and uh, we don't need eyes as well so there we go and uh, what we need to do is basically let's go to the pose mode and uh, this is not a pose uh no rest pose so press alt r or g and all this okay to create the pose mode here all right and also let's go here for pose mode it is not needed but you know Alter, or G, or this. It is not needed. I'm just doing it. I know. All right. So now, uh, what we can do is basically we can select those two and press M, new collection. I'm going to name it Respose. Okay. Just like before. There we go. Respose. By the way, if you want to see the in-depth tutorial on the tool, uh, you can go to the previous uh, tutorial section. Uh, I will link it in the description as well. Anyway, so now let's select. Uh, this character and let's go to the geometry node and uh, let's create a new geometry here so this is a geometry node so let's create a new geometry node here we go and now let's uh, f4 and uh, append and let's go to our desktop and here is our tension map so let's go here and let's go to the node tree and this is the tension map okay let's activate it so press shift a s and uh, tension map there we go okay so now let's connect it here and this will be the tension map hmm. and now uh, what we can do is basically we can select our response here this is the response there we go and now we can as usual connect everything here fall off you can see the parameters has been changed a little bit uh, so we did some internal math to make it, uh, you know, um, better. Anyway, so let's connect those complex map and uh, stretch map as well. Okay, the thing is basically um, in wrinkle setup, we don't use a stretch map um, uh, very much. We use compress map. So we're going to use compress map, but I'm just taking it at a stretch, a stretch map as well. But uh, it is not needed anyway. In any way. So let's disable our response now, and let's go to layout. 
that means our shell editor okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is basically just let's go to geometry note um, let me see yep everything is fine so if you had a sub diff like suppose this is a sub diff uh, just control 2 uh, it will take some time okay so if we had a sub diff here okay uh, before geometry node sub diff this one should also have the subdivision as well okay otherwise it will not work right but uh, by default we don't have the subdivision so i'm just going to uncheck those this one and this one All right anyway so now let's uh disable the views and everything so let's go here okay so here uh what i'm going to do is basically go to the output attribute and i'm going to name it tension okay compress let's name it compress okay and let's name it stretch okay so uh basically if i go now uh, in uh, hit um shutter if i go here and uh, press attribute and let's let's create three shift d and shift d although we will need only the stretch map so just let's see control c control v compress control c control v and uh, stretch control c control v okay so now if i see it here you will see it like this and these are the thing um yeah so let's go here all right um now what i want to do is basically uh we want to go to the blend ship first let's see the blend ship so let's go here suppose uh we have uh, lots of uh, things here so i just want to show you let me see uh brow rise brow rise so let's go to brow a b brow rise yeah brow rise there we go inner so this is the brow rise okay so i just want to animate it a little bit first so let's go for i and uh, brow rise inner i and let's animate it like in 20 i just want to give it one i and this one as one i as well okay so this is the brow race and let's go here it will give us negative minus one suppose yeah i and this will also give us minus one all right here we go so just you know some basic animation here so what happens is basically um the wrinkle happens when we compress things right so if i now go to the extension map you will see what happens here we go okay so if i show you uh let me show you this some some in somewhere else so let's see shift a let's get a uh mix note so that we can see it much more in a better way so let's see it and let's go for a multiply yeah so now you can see what is happening okay so this is our response in here we're seeing that this part is compressing and this part is stretching right so the wrinkle happens where whenever we have compress right compression and here this part is compressing and this part, part is stretching so by default uh, in human at least in human face uh, the stretching part will not have any kind of wrinkle right so what we can do here is basically we can use the compress one only so this is basically the compress um uh, compress normal we have already here this is the compress normal all right so what we can do is basically we can create a mix node mix rgb and uh, we can create an overlay and we can connect our compress node here okay so what it will do it will give us this all right so we can now easily connect our compress attribute to the color okay now let's see the magic there it is here is the compress 
and here is the compass okay you can see here this things and here we go okay so this is the compass normal so if I just you know um, just show you uh, what is happening here you can see that this is the I'm pressing M and let's see here okay so it is creating dynamic setup all right so now let's see another one uh, we had uh, this is called mouth smile so let's go to mouth mouth Mm. yeah mouth smile mouth smile all right so left so here we go okay so let's see mouth smile here we go okay it is creating dynamic object if you want to see it here you can see it here okay here it is all right so what is actually happening here let me show you let me show you m see how much difference it creates all right there we go okay let's go to right let's see it all right it's pretty crazy huh so i don't know. see how much difference it creates and uh, let me show you the multiplication there we go Right, there you go. Cool. So we have absolute things here. All right, there we go. So that's it. And now I want to show you another thing. Uh, that is, let's go to post mode. Um, actually, let's go to body here. Yeah. Uh, let's go to I want to show you that it is not only bench shape you can also use your um, armature and stuff like that as well so if I go to the arm here yeah, we can create an attribute I have not prepared anything for this so let's go just go for uh, compression there you go uh, actually I'm not sure if it's called compression or something uh, compress sorry compress here we go compress so now um if i go here post mode you can see we can actually compress it as well oops not this one there we go there we go there is a compression okay there you go compression creating compression and if you want to see the uh let me show you uh tension as well so here we go tension these are the tension maps okay so things are pretty crazy and you can use it like that as well okay so everything should work right now all right that's it so cool and what else nothing else I think that is it so yeah let's see zero and let's see zero left let's smile them let's give them some smile so suppose i don't need this and let's just animate it a little bit for fun i and i and let's go to 50 one and one by the way if you have a uh, um, advanced rig like you know uh, shape keys with your bind pose and with your you know rig and everything it should work okay not to worry so basically the object needs to be either compressed or stretched nothing else all right there we go all right and uh there we go and what else I want to show you the difference as well so okay you can see the difference and I want to show you the main effect as well so there we go all right done thanks I'm Father Subhuti from CG Virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye